Oh my god. I can't even begin to tell you how much me and my twin flame are like exactly the same. So how many times have you heard that you and your twin are a perfect mirror of each other? That you're, they are reflecting what is within yourself and you are reflecting what is within that. That you're one. That you are not separate. Oh my God. Like, we, me and my twin play think the same. And there's so many synchronicities. And we do the same things. And we have so many of similar things happen to us. It almost feels like we're the same. And that's why it's important to understand that you are having a shared experience and that at your core, you are having the same exact life experience. So what does that mean? It means that you aren't experiencing anything different than them. I know, I know that we're the same, oh, completely the same, but, but they're a, they're a douchebag that like is insensitive and won't speak to me and doesn't want anything to do with me and doesn't love me and would rather go be with other people. Right, like they aren't doing anything to you that you aren't already doing to yourself. That's the big takeaway here. It's not pointing the finger and blaming as much as it is being able to get some introspective, a, a real introspective look on yourself and see why it is they're doing what they're doing and acknowledging that somewhere you're doing that to yourself first because they are you, you are one. So a lot of these things you can, you could probably, uh, if you took a good honest look at it, you could see that like, oh, they're, they're really acting like a child. They're really acting immature, you know, and then look at the way that you're acting. Or you feel that they're making you act. Or the, the way that you feel that they're making you feel. You, know, you, could, you could take a look at yourself and be like, well, yeah, I guess, you know, I am acting like a child through this. Or a lot of other things can be, you know, really buried down deep. Like, why are they doing this? Because some way, somewhere within yourself, you're doing this to yourself. And you could be... Uh, really suppressing this whatever it is or you could be really hiding it or stuffing it way down deep but these things come up and are uh, brought to our attention from our twin because they're reflecting what is going on inside of us inside of both of us I'm, I'm totally done with them I'm walking away from them because any other time I was done with somebody or was like, that's the last you'll see of me, they always came running back. So any time that you make a core decision, they make that same core decision. Because there's no separation. You're not making separate choices here. Right? A core decision is a little bit different than what you're going to have for lunch. So understand that. But a core decision to walk away in hopes that they start chasing after you is more of like a manipulating control type of thing than anything else. Um, and that's why we refer back to the mirror 
that if you're going to choose to walk away, then they're going to choose to walk away. If you're going to choose uh, something, you know, that isn't choosing them or that isn't choosing love, then they're going to make that same that same decision. So really think about what it is you're choosing and how it's going to affect what you want. Right? If you really want to be with your twin flame, then don't make a dumb decision to, uh, in in some kind of reverse psychology, to not not be with them or or whatever the case is. You know, you, you uh, this isn't this isn't fourth grade elementary school. You know, this is adulthood maturity uh, uh, union, not some you know uh, just random relationship. This is. Uh, this is big. This is a big deal. This is being able to uh, sustain true love. And you have to be on a certain level to achieve that. I don't want to be mature. They have to start being mature first. They have to start doing some damn things around here first. If you're if you're gonna continue to say that they are doing something that you aren't or that isn't going on somewhere within you, what you're really saying is that you're different than them in some way. And that's creating your separation. Or you're feeding into separation by saying in any way, they're different than you, or you're not the same, or you're not one. That's separation consciousness. And that will continue to give you your separation. That will not bring you to union. So think long and hard of, of what's happening, and be honest with yourself. You know, be mature about this. Start making uh, big boy or big girl decisions. Do it for you. Do it for your union. Do it for love. Do it so that you can have this enormous thing that you want. Right? So work with me. Go down to the, the description box below and click the links. Uh, you know, go over the content that I have on my website. It's uh, very helpful, and I will see you next time.